Okay, time for the advanced preloader. Last time we did a preloader, it was pretty simple. It just looked like this. Um, if frames are loaded, if all of the, the keyframes in our Flash movie have loaded, then we go to the start of our website keyframe, keyframe 10 in this case. Else we go back to 1, right? And when we go back to 1, what would happen is this thing would be looping like this, and then this loading sign which is actually, I believe, a movie clip. Yes, it's a movie clip that's just kind of like a little blinker movie clip, right? Then this would just blink until we loaded all of our keyframes in our movie, and then we jump to frame 10, where we would have our websites begin, right? That was kind of the, the gist of it. So now we're going to do something different, right? Always good to do something different. So we'll do something a little more advanced and a little more crazy and uh, and that should be fun. Okay. All right. So this time, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this movie clip, this loading movie clip. All right. And we'll we'll still use it, except this time I'm going to give it a name. So this this uh, movie clip here, loading. I'm going to go down here to my instance window and call it preloader. Okay. So now I've given it a name. And then I'm going to go inside of it by double clicking on it. So now I'm inside of uh, Preloader. In this case, it's called a Loading Movie Clip here. So I'm not in Scene 1. I'm inside this movie clip. And there is the blinking keyframe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this layer if I can. I can't. I have to make a new layer first. And then I will. And then I'll delete that layer. There you go. And then on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, get a little rectangle here. And. I will, let's see here, it'll have red outline and let's say like a, a light brown inside, oh that's going to look terrible, oh, let's make that purple or something, yeah that'll be interesting. Okay, and I'm going to make a little rectangle, okay, alright there we go, and there is my rectangle, I might uh, tweak it a little bit, okay. There it is. There's my rectangle. Notice it's got an outline. It's got an inside. All right. And what I'm going to do is, um, let's see here. For this, yeah, I'll put this here at zero zero. Let's see here. X zero tab zero. Enter to. And I think I need to stretch it out. Okay. All right. So this will be my, let's say, my loading bar. Okay. Now it's actually going to be just the background to the loading bar. So I'll say bar background. Okay. And I'm going to make a new layer. And in this new layer, I'm going to select that inside part that was just there, not the outline, just the inside part. And I'm going to do Control C to copy, and I'll paste it on my new layer in the same place. So on my new layer, I'm going to do Edit, Paste in Place. So now I have a copy of the inner part on top. And what I'll do is I'll make this color lighter. Uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, so that's lighter. All right. So so now if you wanted to turn off your eyeball on the bottom layer, I just have this. But underneath, I have this. Haha. -ha. All right. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, this piece right here, this bar, right? And I'm going to turn it into a movie clip. So F8, movie clip, registration point, upper uh, left-hand corner. And I will call it bar, right? Yeah, bar is fine. All right, all right. Uh, there it is. So now I've got this uh, bar, and I'm going to give it the instance name of bar. Hit enter. So when I select on this, there's bar. So right now, if I go back to scene one, I've got a movie clip called preloader. Inside of that movie clip, if I double click on it, I've got two layers. I've got uh, a um, right on top of each other so you can't even see them I've got this bar movie clip right it's named bar and underneath it I have a um, shape just a, uh, a shape and an outline fill and a outline 
shape. Okay, stroke around the shape, a stroke around the fill. Okay, so I'm all good now to code this thing out. So I'm going to go back to scene one and go up to my code window, and I think I can do it right here. And I'm going to erase this part of the code. All right, and first thing I do is I'm going to say preloader. That's the name of the first movie clip on the um, stage that holds the bar. And I'm going to give it an on enter frame handler. So I'm going to say on enter frame equals a function. Open and close parentheses. And you might not be able to see this, so let me make it bigger. I'll see if that helps. Yeah, that, that might be better. Okay. Uh, Preloader dot on enter frame equals a function. Open and close parentheses. Next line, open curly brace. Two lines down, close the curly brace. Okay. So, um, yeah, that works. So what this does is it says the preloader movie clip has an on enter frame function. And what that means is is that the on enter frame function says when um, when this movie clip hits the frame, we're going to run this function at whatever the frame rate is. And so our movie's frame rate is 12 frames per second. So whatever inside of these two curly braces will execute repeatedly uh, 12 times per second, right? And so here's the code that goes inside. First, we're going to get a variable for the total amount of bytes in our movie. So I'm going to say total equals, um, and this is just a variable, so I'm uh, just creating this variable on the fly. You can do this with ActionScript um, 1 and 2 uh, without declaring it as a variable. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm talking about because you're a beginner to this, just follow along. So this is a variable total. It could be equal to anything. I can make it equal to number, a string, a word, or whatever. I'm going to make it here in this case equal to the root timeline get bytes total. All right. And what that's going to do is this little, this cool little bit of action script code gets the total amount of bytes in our movie, in our website. So now total equals root gets bytes total. Now, how do you know that this is working? You can go to the next line and say trace total, right? Do that, trace total, and hit control enter. And there is executing 12 times per second, telling me total equals 42,000 or 427,556 bytes. So there it is, tracing out and outputting to an output window um, the size of my movie. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So now I don't need this trace anymore. So I'm just going to comment it out, but I'm going to leave it there to remind myself that yeah, I, I trace this and it's working. Total equals our total bytes in the movie. All right. I'm going to have to finish this. This is going to have to be a two-part video, so I'm going to um, do this in another video, finish it in another video. Yes. Ha-ha. All right. So